Everyone is John. Holy shit, that's the wrong page. There we go, it's fixed now. What the hell? No! Everything's broken! Anyway, hey guys. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know why this is like this. Let me just uh, close that. Ah, oh, there we go, perfect. We're good now. Hey everyone, welcome to Die Party. Everyone is John. It is a interesting little game that we're going to be playing. It's pretty much going to be a one-shot, but you know what? You might come back for a second, second, second help. Multiple helpings. <laughs> yeah. It's um, a fun game. It is. So let me introduce everyone who's going to be playing Everyone is John tonight. What the fuck? Go away. Ah! My God. Unbelievable. Anyway, so first up, we have Kyla, who will be playing one of John's... Uh, Memories or split personalities, I guess you could call them. Uh, then we, we also have Caleb, who is also going to be playing one of John's many personalities. We have Jacob, who uh, is, funnily enough, also playing one of John's multiple personalities. And then we have myself. I am also going to be playing one of John's many personalities. And then we have our, our DM for the first round, uh, Mr. Wreckage. Who is, -ho, who is not going to be playing anyone but John and everyone else around him. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Rickage, why don't you explain the rules? So, in Everyone is John, uh, Everyone is John. Uh, in that, <laughs> all of the players are split personalities of an insane man whose real name is John. Uh, each uh, personality, as would be the case due in sort of pulpy... Uh, over-the-top uh, depictions of insane people it is very specific and has very specific obsessions. Um, and the goal is to complete your obsessions, which vary in difficulty. The person who completes the most obsessions and therefore has the highest score wins and GMs the next game of everyone is John. Uh, in order to complete your obsessions, you each have skills that are in line with your very specific and over-the-top personalities. Uh, and you compete for control of John, who suffers from things like narcolepsy and, uh, and et cetera, which give opportunities for you to bid uh, willpower. There's a currency uh, called willpower where everyone starts with 10. You bid the willpower to take control of John when he gets hurt, uh, when he passes out, which happens if he does something boring for more than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's basically mechanics for the, the multiple personalities to take differing control. Um, sometimes in the middle of action, which is always zany and fun. Most everyone in John, everyone is John Games and like on the White House lawn, um, having just assassinated the president or something ridiculous. <laughs> uh, they're very over the top. Completely naked with only a cell phone and a gun. Yeah. The mechanics are there to make sort of over the top humor <clears throat> possible, which is, is, is the goal, hopefully. Um, so we're going to play. Everyone is John. I've, I've approved everyone's characters, which are hidden from each other because they don't want to accidentally fulfill someone else's obsession when they're in charge because the person still gets points for that. Um, so part of the game is to try to figure out who the other people's obsessions are um, and therefore not do them so that you win uh, because winning is, is paramount because America. Uh, America. America. <laughs> I love that um, people can say America in America, and then everyone around them will say America. America. You know what I mean? It's like going to Australia and saying Aussie, 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 and then everyone going, oi, oi, oi. It's like, <laughs> I equate it to being the same thing, so, yeah. Well, it's just self-parody at this point. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, no one's watching on the stream yet, because this is a great game yeah. for, like, audience participation. Like, give us a prompt to start. Yeah, How it's, um... It's kind but of we interesting because comment below what you want the prompt to be. Yeah, we won't listen to you. No, we, hey man, we've listened to people before and it's always worked out good. So, but the yeah, thing is, I'm like totally for, everyone like, and John, answer. everyone is John as a game title on Twitch doesn't exist. So it's one of those things where it's like maybe someone will find it, but probably not. Maybe not. Anyway, this well, is this well, will probably we're also be for YouTube mostly for your anything. subscribers to come. Yeah, uh, yeah. All, everybody loves the beard. Um, the beard. Yeah. So to start off, um, we uh, first of all, there's a GM whisper feature in Roll Twenty that you guys are going to be using. How do you measure. actually use that? I it is slash or GM whisper. Is it slash GM? Can I do that? Yeah, I think so. I think it's WGM. 
uh, it's actually slash w space gm message. Because because you can also do slash w person's name. Um, so you can. So when I'm no longer GM, I'm not actually going to be forfeiting roll 20 GM control to anybody. You'll have to start whispering to the person who is the next GM. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, so far, I've gotten test whispers from everyone but Caleb. Caleb, just make sure that you can, you can accurately type. I mean, I'm sure you can. You're not invalid, <clears throat> to uh, the best of my knowledge. Words and stuff. Excellent. So, everyone has now learned the GM whisper feature. Congratulations. Gold stars all around. Um, so what I need from everyone is an initial bid of willpower. Oh, don't uh, you have to explain the situation first? No, actually, because uh, nope. we start out just bidding. John's willpower. unconscious. You then bid he... to be in control without knowing the context that he is going to wake up in. So I need initial bids from people. Remember, you can bid zero or you can bid ten. However, however much you bid, if you win, you lose it. So be willing to lose the amount that you bid. Okay, um, that means that the winner of the bid is Hemlock. Ooh. Ooh. And I think I have three willpower to Mr. take Kyla. control of John. Take control of Johnny. Johnny boy. Uh, Hemlock. Yeah, that's my name. You can say it as much as you want, it doesn't wear out. <laughs> I intend to, to, in order to address you for various situations and contexts, sees. Uh, Emlock. Yep. You uh, slowly uh, regain consciousness. The, the sound of... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I thought the game was you have to talk to John and get John to do things. No. Yeah. You well, have yeah. control of John when what? you come in. Really? You are, the, you are awake and you are John. Oh, I've always seen it played the other way, where you're a part of his memory, like his mind, and you, you say, hey, John, that woman over there, we should totally stab her. She looks really mean. And then, and then you, you roll to see if John does it. Th no. Anyway, no. Okay. Yeah, because the skill tests are actually because John is really incompetent. All right. Not for, well, not for persuading John. Okay, cool. To do a thing. Um, so, yeah, uh, now that we've uh, cleared up that little mistake... Uh, well, you know, some people play it like that, I guess. Mm. But it it uh, it makes more sense when you just take total control, since it is split personality syndrome, and uh, not um, not just voices uh, in his head or whatever. Not schizophrenia. Yeah, it's not schizophrenia. <laughs> it's, it's multiple personalities. Yeah. So a personality takes control and is John. Hemlock, you wake up. You slowly regain consciousness. Uh, the sound, the 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 repetitive clicker clack, clickety clack, clickety clack of. Uh, a train passing over train tracks uh, fills your uh, your your <clears throat> your ears. Um, you're in a dark place. Uh, the train noise is very loud, and you're moving, and it's shaking and and loud. Am I on the train? You might be on the train, uh, but it's very dark. Uh, what do you do? And um, thus begins the hobo stabbing simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check out my surroundings. Like, what's what's going on around me? Uh, yeah. It's it's really dark. Um, yep. you can see a, a a small shaft of light in the. Uh, maybe it's the distance. It's hard. I'll to tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go straight to that shaft. You go straight to the shaft of life. As you approach it, you can <laughs> see that it is uh, a, an ajar um, sliding door of a train car, um, and outside, uh, you know, beautiful landscapes uh, are passing uh, uh, slowly. Uh, you clearly are on the train. You're, you're clearly in the a, a, some sort of container on the on a train. Okay, I'm gonna. So, so I'm, I'm like just the sliding sliding door and literally just the outside. Yeah, well, I mean that's how trains work. Yeah, I mean some of when, them. When um, you're in the, when you're in the uh, storage parts of a train, yeah. that's how trains work. This is all right. So, car. okay, so we're in a train car. Can I like open the light up a little bit? Can I? Yeah, you can open it a little bit wider to increase the the light yeah. that is in yeah. here. Yeah, I want to see if there's any hobos in here. I just yeah. Uh, you, you throw open the door a little bit, you slide open the door a little bit, it illuminates the cabin. Um, there is, uh, where you were is, is a little setup, a little shanty setup with, uh, 
like a, a personal, one of those mountaineering sort of uh, personal campfire things. Um, <gasps> John's a hobo. A you better stab it. yourself, man. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's the stick with the, um, you know, the, the red and white handkerchief tied around it that's got, mm-hmm. you know, uh, oh maybe potentially things in it. Um, and, yeah, there was a little hobo campsite where you were sleeping just now. Uh, and now you're awake and in control. Um, I feel the power. Yeah. I don't see any, there aren't any hobos in this particular train car. Uh, but with the shaft of light open, you can see that there are, um, as opposed to this side door, which opens up into the wilderness, uh, there are doors um, on the other sides of the train that lead to the other cars. Uh, those doors are there as well. Very useful shaft. Um, what I'm going to do, I, so I guess I'll go through one of those doors. All right. Uh, you go through one of the doors. Um, I guess a random door. Uh, fake dice roll to see which one. Doesn't matter. I'm making it up anyway. Um, you pass into another storage car, uh, and this one is filled with uh, crates. Uh, crates? And animals inside those crates. <gasps> Animals. Animals are inside those crates. Um, most of them are sleeping peacefully. Some of them are. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it, it seems like, um, as a matter of fact, that these are rather exotic animals. Uh, lar- uh, things like bears and, and even some tigers. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, you in can that see that these cages have... Uh, a circus emblem on them, and uh, this is clearly a, a train car for a traveling circus. Okay. Can oh I look boy. for Dumbo? Um, I don't know. Uh, is there? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go get drunk with Dumbo. Um, huh, let's see. <clears throat> is there more doors? Yeah, there's another door at the other end of the uh, animal car, and of course, there's the other door that would have gone the other way. Um, in the train uh, from your original. Uh, I'm going to keep going in the same direction. I'm, I was so you're going to pass through the animal car to the next whatever. Eh, you know what? I might come back to him. I might not. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. All right. So you <clears> pass <throat> through the animal car and come to the next car. Um, not into bestiality, this personality. Oh, that's good because that would be weird. Um, yeah, you, know. you pass through the next car. What skill and, check do you uh, need to make to fuck a bear? So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're specializing in it, only a three. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely a strength check. Um, oh my God. Yeah, there's no social skill that can help you um, woo a bear. You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, um, okay, what so I, I see. You, go, you move into the next car, and um, you can't tell if uh, this is a, a car filled with hobos or circus clowns. Um, but they are clearly uh, dressed for the part of, of, of lovable oh. tramps, perhaps. Oh, um, lovable tramps. They're, they're, you huddled around in uh, their own various spaces, uh, and, and there are many of them, and most of them appear to be sleeping in uh, what are some cots that are, have been set up in this train. Okay. Question, do I have anything on me? Like, do I have just my clothes or... You're wearing, uh, you, now, you now check yourself. You appear to be wearing a similar outfit to these uh, lovable tramps. Um, uh, over, uh, perhaps an over-the-top uh, hobo facsimile um, or actual hobo gear. It's, uh, it's hard to tell. Um, you did have that, that uh, red and white handkerchief baggie on a stick back in uh, oh. the other car. But other than that, you don't appear to have any possessions. Does anyone else seem like they like? So, is anybody awake? Who's awake? Uh, everyone's asleep right now. Everyone's asleep. It's all. It was also night. Um, oh, it was night. Okay. Night. Yeah, I missed that. Oh, uh, all so right. So it is nighttime. Uh, this car is asleep. You're awake. Um, and you know, the clickety clack of the train as it uh, as it moves along. So occasionally you hit a little bump. Things go flying around in a comical over the top train traveling uh, scenario. Hmm. Well, I wonder what's in the the handkerchief thing. Yeah, maybe. Who knows what what, what it could be? Can I go check that? 
I'm gonna go. You can walk back through the animal cart and check your handkerchief. Uh, All right. I'm going to go ignore the bear and good. see if I have, like, a sandwich or, you know, some cocaine. You know, anything a hobo might have. Nice. Right. Well, uh, you travel back to your, your hobo campsite and you open up the handkerchief. Um, inside appears to be a leather boot. Um, <laughs> that just has... a single one? <laughs> <laughs> There's a single leather boot. And it looks... Like it has bite marks out of it. Um, oh man, you've been hungry. There are potentially human bite marks. Um, it's a really old raggedy leather boot. It doesn't smell like it's been worn by a foot um, recently. Does it smell like it's been eaten by someone? I mean, is there a smell? Am I am I wearing been? boots? Yeah, yeah the smell wearing, of you're sadness. Wearing sort of, you're sort of wearing uh, you're wearing shoes that don't. Um, they're shoes, but at the front where the toes are. The shoe is not connected to the sole, so you can, you know, it, it opens up. Out? Yeah, like like you know, like a standard hobo sort of. Yeah, nice oh. and comforting. Keep those feet nice and aerated. You know, the next next level Nike shoes right there. Okay. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Wow. You know. Uh, how, how much did you spend on this? <laughs> all of it. Um, all of it. Yeah. He spent no. three willpower to wake up three first. Ouch. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'm going to milk it, too. Um, you can, as long as you don't stop doing anything and, and have a fit of narcolepsy, mm. then you will maintain control. This is true. I'm going to go back to the hobo site. You're going to milk? All right, you go back to – you pass through the, the animal car, and you are once again in the hobo slash – potentially clown um, car, yep. uh, and there are at least uh, eight of them on various eight. pots. Uh, and they're Do all they have anything on them? Like, can I, I mean, yeah, they're, 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 they're packed full of stuff. They have things. Uh, they have all sorts of things on them. Uh, it, you, you start looking over. Do you start looking over them? Uh, Absolutely. They clearly have possessions. Um, you start fiddling with, I don't know, the first random hobo, clown, whatever he is. Oh, um, man. <laughs> but he wakes up immediately. Oh, <laughs> who's, who's there? What's that? It's dark in this car. You haven't opened any sort of sliding door. Uh, hey, hey, bud, it's just John. Just, just don't worry about it. John, I don't, I don't know a John. What's going on? He's, he's, his eyes are, are still closed. Rapping? His eyes are still closed? Yeah, he's, he's not. He's, he's not. He's sort of halfway. Have I found anything on him yet? <laughs> uh, you found uh, that he has a pack of smokes in oh. um, in one of his pockets, uh, oh. and uh, he's got a handkerchief in his in his front pocket. That's as far as you've gotten, he's demanding to know who what's going on, but he's not really <laughs> sort of half awake. Stop mm -hmm. it! What's going on? Stop! Wake stop up. touching! Wake up! Wake up! You want to go smoke with me? What? What? Let's go, let's go smoke in the other car. Uh, no, I need to sleep. I can't get up and smoke. Come it's, on, man. It's, it's fun. I got you. Yeah, sure. What? What are you? Who are? Uh, can, I, what? can I try? Can I try? Can I try and persuade him to come over and like smoke with me over in the? You know, oh, come God. on. Come Give him hobo favors. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you can roll one d six to persuade this guy. Brad. <laughs> Um, to go have a smoke. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you either need a three if you're skilled, or you need a six to pass every single time you roll. And for me as a GM, I also will use context to give you free plus or minuses to your roll. Okay. Um, in this okay. occasion, it did not apply. There was no plus or minus <laughs> to him persuading. Um, he's still tanked. Uh... Which first of all means that there is a test, there is a test. for yeah. control. Yeah, you can. Um, anybody can bid to take control. If nobody bids uh, any amount, he'll he'll keep control. And Hemlock can bid also to outbid you and stay in control. Um, so everybody has to send me one of those. <laughs> when he said, "I'm gonna milk it," I was like. You're going to milk the boot? What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was All right. Take a bite. 
Um, <laughs> Hemlock, you flutter into unconsciousness as uh, you hear um, sort of a stingent refusal from this guy, like, "Oh, I got, I got to sleep." Who the, who the? And Dave, you nice. flutter into consciousness, standing over a clown hobo, potentially. <laughs> it's not. Use, it's not clear. Um, not telling. Which me. is which? Uh, you flutter into consciousness, uh, yep. and. Uh, it's, there's some guy there. You're standing over him, and he's demanding to let to have you let him go to sleep. All right. Um, I want to get down. Who the hell you are? I want to get down on my knee. I want to clasp his hand within both of my hands like this, you know. And I want to get real close to his face, and I go, "Good sir, you are quite mesmerizing." <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? He's, he's, suddenly, he's no longer um, thinking. <clears throat> it's just one of his buddies messing with him. Um, while he's trying to sleep, and he's he shoots right up uh, to being awake, and and sees uh, you, and clearly there's a look in his eye that he doesn't doesn't recognize you. What? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I want to I want to sort of swagger over to where he is, sort of like you're limp. clasping his hand. Okay. Like, well, if he's standing up, I, I thought he like moved away from me. Anyway, I'm clasping his hand. No, he's, he just sits up in in bed. All right. I want I want to get like uncomfortably close to his face. Okay, you're uncomfortably close to his face. And so I want to go... Skill roll for that. What was that? You don't need a skill roll okay, to get uncomfortably cool. yeah, close great. to his face. All right. And I, I, I want to I wanna sort of get in close and go, Sir, might I know your name? Who the... F- what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? And he's trying to wrench his hand My name free. is Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo? I don't know any fucking Eduardo. Who the... How did you get on here? You need not you know me, train? sir. But I have been looking for you my whole life. What the hell? Are you some kind of crazy person? I am only crazy for you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, He's uh, he's desperately uncomfortable right now. You can see. Uh, And then and then I want to go. I want to go, sir. I know this is a little fast, but might I? Steal a kiss from one such as yourself. Uh, uh, is this an is this a persuasion attempt? Are yeah. You want to we want to sure, roll we'll for roll, this? We'll roll for this. All right, I'm gonna say this is minus <laughs> one because this guy is is straight, so it's it's one harder than it would typically be. Oh, uh, it's harder. Oh, oh. Yeah. So you don't you don't succeed. Um, <clears throat> he reacts. Uh, 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 violently. There's some sort of sexual predator on the, the on the train. Everybody, get up! <laughs> Starts making noise. And he goes, "Where?" Um, so, do I lose consciousness the moment I fail the roll? You sort of fit, fit, fl- well, we don't know because we haven't done a test for control. Okay. So, if you win the test for control, you maintain control. Like, as am I, am I allowed to say something in response to him calling me a sexual predator? Only if you maintain control. Okay, cool. Yep, make it chill. So everyone, please give me a test for control willpower bid. Uh, Dave maintains control. No one tried to outbid him here. Everyone wants to see the resolution of this situation. (laughs) Um, So all the other hobo clowns are starting to wake up. Um, They're starting to respond to the cries of a sexual predator on this train. And you uh, now have the opportunity to respond. All right, so uh, I was like, Sir, no, 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 you misunderstand. I was simply asking for your permission. I would never steal a kiss from a fair maiden like yourself without <laughs> such things. I'm a guy, he says, uh, while uh, the Sorry. lights come on, <laughs> and he is indeed a guy. Um, he, he's a middle aged, balding, bearded man. Um, and then I want to rush up to him and I go, Shh. I'm going to put my finger on his lips. And I'm like, so, that makes no difference to me. <laughs> oh. uh, he's going to uh, haul off and deck you. Uh, Ooh, so you damn, need to yeah. try and make some sort of uh, defense uh, roll, perhaps. Um, remember that willpower can be spent to increase the likelihood of succeeding against a roll. Um, and none of your skills apply to not being punched. So, uh, I mean, I bet you could also just fail it. There's no, there's no, I don't want to teach um, you how to live. 
Uh, I, so I roll a 1d6 without it, and, uh, and I have to get a 6 to pass, right? But yeah. I can reduce the cost by spending willpower. If you, it, then it goes to 5, then to 4, then mm. to 3 for each willpower. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right, I'm just going to roll a 1d6, I think. Okay. Good luck. Five. Ooh, Ooh. so close. <laughs> not close enough. Um, this man is not comfortable <clears throat> with you here. It's, it, 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 honestly, if he had been fully awake when you started, he would have punched you much sooner. Yeah. Um, Eduardo is kind of like that a little bit. <laughs> his fist collides with your face, and there is a test for control from everyone. Mm. Mm. Might as well, right? All right, I'm also going to roll a 1d6 myself for a secret GM reason. Um, all right, uh, that particular punch caused John to be knocked unconscious, which means that everyone restores one willpower. Okay. Uh, Can you go above ten? No. God damn it. And uh, that means that Hemlock wins. Woo! But sort of for, like, one less willpower than he bid. Um, so, Hemlock, you gain control. Uh, your face hurts. You, you just wow. you flutter into consciousness, and there are a bunch of angry hobo clowns huddled around you. Um, one of them appears to have a bowling pin um, brandished in one of his hands as if, like, a baseball, like he's, he's grabbed a baseball bat and he's going to fend off an intruder into his home, but it's a bowling pin. How close am I to the to the animal cages? To the You're in the hobo car still. It's a totally separate car. I know, but how how close am I to that door? Um, you're in the middle of the train car, so both doors just, are equal distance away. They've circled to me, and they've encircled you because they think you're some sort of thief or <clears> sexual <throat> predator. Really, is what they think. Um, although you may not be aware of that because you were unconscious. However, uh, you do hear one of them say, "Start talking, perv." How'd you hey. get on this on the train? What are you doing here? Hey, hey, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> this, was, this was just a practical joke. I'm from one of the other carts. Um, I, you know, I honestly, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why you guys are overreacting so much. This is just, I mean, <gasps> oh I think we should God. all just calm down. Roll, maybe, uh, roll one d six for this is just a practical joke. I'm from one of the other carts. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> How does a two do? Does a two do it for you? Not really. <laughs> you need a three unless you, um, but I'm actually going to say that succeeds because you get plus one for that being a really believable story. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally believable. <laughs> yeah, no, I find it a really believable story. It's like, oh, God damn it, says uh, the guy who punched you that you don't know punched you because you were not in control. Did did the did the fucking gymnast send you over here? God damn it! Yeah, uh, it was the gymnast. Yeah. It, uh, they, you fucking pansies! Always, I, I should have known right away as soon as you got in all that flowery talk. Hey, can <laughs> we, all right. we should all just we should all just calm down. Maybe we should just like I don't know, have a little chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Fucking funny joke, asshat. Now get the fuck out. Let's get back to sleep. Get back to your car. Well, what a, what? We got a show to do tomorrow. Mm. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, so they start sort of uh, shoving you to the next door, the door that you that didn't lead back to the animals. But uh, oh, I guess and so. they're, they're sort of Go getting to. back into their bunks and going to sleep, or or looks like they're going to try to. All right, I guess I'll go where they're hurting me. You know, there. Go this way. All right, so you go, you step through that car, and in right, the next. All right, Bubs, I'll see you guys later. In the next train car is um, what looks like a, a prop and costume uh, uh, train okay. car. Um, it's got lots of uh, uh, wardrobes on, on <laughs> racks, um, there are rubber chickens hanging around, uh, big hula hoops. Uh, fake uh, yeah. weights that aren't actually, they don't weigh anything, but it says, you know, a thousand pounds on them and, and all sorts of standard uh, circus props, strings with ribbons, nets. Mm. It, it's, it's clearly a, uh, a prop Costumes way. as well? Yep, costumes, wardrobes, all sorts of stuff. Cool, cool. Clown I'm, stuff. 
Rank I'm, Master I think stuff. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find the fanciest clothes. I wanna look like like a monopolist in the 1920s. Well, the closest thing to that would be the outfit of the ringmasters, the sort of uh, master ceremonies. He, you know, wears big uh, sort go. of riding crop pants that have huge, ridiculous hips, and then knee-high boots, and then a big top hat with like a a sequence vest that's all red and sparkly. And so, yeah, you put that you put that costume on, John. You swap out your hobo clothes for those really nice um, ringmaster clothes, and now you look like a ringmaster at a circus.